snakes. Very friendly. Come on, there's one for everyone. Pet snakes. Look I'm a run. They're pretty, aren't they? I'm a run from you, and you're a chasing. And you're a chasing me to the hands of the earth. Pet snake. Oh. Oh. Look at them. Look at them. Do Don't be bite? afraid, there's enough for everyone. Do they bite you? Only if you bite them first. Out, man. Oh, wow, Tommy, they're pretty. See that little pink triangle in the corner there? That's a mistake. On a stamp, a mistake could be worth a fortune. A fortune, Tommy? Oh, boy, a fortune. Yes, that's because they're really rare. Now you're going to help me sell these stamps to some kids out there. We are. Why don't we just keep them and have a fortune, Tommy? Because it's just a trick, you stupid dolt. I don't understand. You said Never that mind. to... Oh, jeez. Let's get out of here. We're not ripping kids off, are we, Tommy? <laughs> That's wrong, isn't it? Tommy, wait! Hey, Ralphie! What a loathsome creature. Come get your Pink Panther stamps. There's a genuine mistake. Right. The post office is sold out. I'll be worth a fortune. Yours for only Thousand dollars in a couple Next years. Cap two, cap two. Your fortune. Your fortune is ten thousand. Stop that! Stop that immediately! You should be ashamed of yourself. Why? As president of the stamp club, I demand you stop selling between club members immediately. That's right. Big man. Get up, boy. Go, Tommy. Who is an easy? Yeah. Whose money is this? It's mine. Uh, but I don't want the money. I, I want the stamps. <laughs> you want the money. Rule number six. <laughs> okay, everybody sit down, please. What is going on here, Albert? Yesterday, a new set of stamps was released from the post office about the explorers. What's all the fuss about? One of them has an error, a pink triangle, which shouldn't be there. The pink panther! This is called a variety in the stamp world. <sighs> Secondly, he's convincing them that these stamps will be worth a fortune, which they won't be. Oh, huh. so maybe I should go out and get some. No, miss, the post office is sold out. You should buy some from me. Of course not. Thirdly, he's making suckers out of all of you. That's right. They're only worth face value. Hmm. OK, Tommy. Maybe you'd better give the kids their money back, hmm? Hey, miss, look, a snake. I hate a snake. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Is this? Hi, miss. But it's not a snake. It's a lizard. Lizards normally have legs. He did have legs, but I cut him off. Oh, oh that's disgusting. That's where his front legs were, and that's where his back legs were. For a lizard, he's doing just fine. And I suppose your father's doing just fine, too.
listen. Hey, you buddy. What nice little liquors. As I was saying, if you really want, I could help you build a wonderful collection with all sorts of animals, not just koalas, rhinoceri, emus, platypuses. I know, but I really like koalas. Hey, Tommy, gummy bears. Oh, yeah. See the gummy bears, Albert? Can we talk some oh. other time? Yes. Hey, Albert, I think you got a little problem there. My steps! My steps! Oh, my God, my steps! For? Oh, my staffs. Yeah! Woo! That's it. There. Oh, that's a pretty garden, Tommy. You stay here until I come back, okay? Why? Because you'll be cozy here in case it snows. Oh, that's a good answer, Tommy. Hey, someone's coming. Hide! Place you have here. Ooh, nice table. Actually, we're renovating this way. Hmm, nice woodwork. Nice lamp. Don't don't touch. It, it's fragile. Okay. Hmm, nice railing. Nice banister, whatever you call it. Hmm, expensive picture frame. Ralph. Ralph. Nice little snoozing room. Who sleeps in this mess? Get up fast. Come on. Do you really want me to see what we're doing? Come on. And it's not a mess. And what's your name, by the way, Mr. Smarty Pants? Tricker. Tommy Tricker. What kind of a name is that? Haven't you heard of me? I'm famous. I can't say that I have. What awful deeds are you famous for? Uh, doesn't that. What's all these postcards for? What's this? Chinese or something? Yes, Mr. Famous. Can't you read Chinese? We've got pen pals in over 60 countries. That one that you're holding there is for Chen Tao in Hangzhou, China. Ralph, where have you been? Tommy, uh, what are you, you doing here? Hi, Ralph. <laughs> oh, God, what a show-off. Hey, I got a great swap for you, man. But, Tommy, I can't, I, I can't, I can't uh, trade, tra trade with you because Albert's for, forbidden it. That's why I came here, Ralphie. See you later, Tripper. <laughs> Whatever your name is. Yeah, sure, postcard. Your dad a model builder or something? No, he's an architect. Huh. Oh, neat. Whoa. So, what do you got? Oh. Piece it. Holy schmoly. Where did he get these? Ask me no questions, and I'll tell you no lies. All for you, Ralphie. You mean you won't tell Albert? Forget Albert. He's a loser. So, what do you got for my beautiful piece set? 
Okay, I got my astronaut set, I got my animals, and I got my Australian stamps. Nah, none of those. Hey, what's that big red Canada book up there? Oh, no, I can't touch that. That's Dad's. Oh, come I'm on. I'm not allowed to oh, touch that. Just, just give me a little peek. Better not. He's real strict. Fine. If you don't trust me, I'll just forget about this. Okay. I turn the pages. Oh, your dad's got pretty nice stuff. Hey, look at the bald guy. Don't touch. Oh, wow, George the Sixth. Pretty nice. More George the Sixth. Hey, Ralphie, the new Fee Confederation. Touch. Don't touch. The royal visit. Oh, God save our gracious queen. Hey, look. Six men blue noses. Perfect condition. Hold, hold it, hold it, look. Another one. A, a spare one. Listen, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll trade you my whole piece set for this one crummy little spare blue nose. You would? Yeah. Uh, no, I I can't. It's Dad's. He, he'd kill me. Oh, come on, he'll say you're a genius. It's just a spare one, a little crummy little thing. No, I can't. It's Dad's. Oh, come on. Tommy, don't. Do you understand? It's Dad's. I can't trade his stamps. Oh, no! It's, Al it's Albert. Don't panic. Just go down and tell him that you're not here. What? Send your sister, dummy. Oh, yeah. Taken care of. Okay, last chance. I'm gonna count to three. One. I can't. Two. It's my dad's stab. I can't treat it. Three. Wait. Let me think. Sorry, but the deal's off. <sighs> okay, take it. No, you had your last chance. No, take it, please. No. Oh, come on, Tommy. You always do that just when someone's about to trade. Please. Oh, come on. Please. 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 Okay, I'll give you one more chance because you're a nice guy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tommy. Thank you. Oh, thank Your you. Your dad's going to be real proud of you. Bye. Hey, Tommy, this isn't the piece set. Tommy? Tommy! You gave me the wrong one! Go, let's go! Hey, what happened? Never mind, come on! Wait! I wonder what's gotten into him. Whew. <laughs> Sorry about the strange welcome, Mr. Bronson. Here we go, Mr. Bronson. Thank you. Thank you. Just a sec, Mr. Bronson. There's something strange going on around here. Ralph!
Ralph, stop this nonsense. Now watch your step here. We're renovating. Thanks. Watch your step. We're renovating. <laughs> I told him that already. Was that Ralph? Yes, it was. I'll be right back. Uh, here's the inverted seaway I was telling you about. Thank you. Ralph will be here in a minute. Hmm, beautiful condition. Where are you going? At five o'clock on a weekday, I expect to find my son home. Why don't you try and find out what's wrong instead of being so cranky? I'm not being cranky. I'm just fed up with this sort of thing. Bryn? Ralph, will you come out, please? Ralph, what's wrong? I know you're in there. Hey, Mr. Bronson's here. Come on, Ralph. He's the one I told you all the stories about. You were dying to meet him. Please leave me alone, Dad. He's the one who started me in stamps when I was your age. He gave me my first stamp album. Hello, I I'm Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Sit down, dear. Are you really a famous collector? Not very. Your father was telling me in the car that you send postcards round the world. Do you also like stamps? Not that much. Stamps are amazing. They can lift a tiny postcard or a huge parcel and fly it round the world. But it's not the stamps that do it. It is the stamps. All right, Ralph. I've had enough. I'm giving you 30 seconds to get your butt out of there. You are in big trouble. What? Come on, just leave him alone. Ralph, do I have to come through the window? I'm coming through the window, Ralph. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Bryn. There's troubles. How's the liquor sticker tree? <laughs> Where's my piece set you stole two weeks ago? I, I didn't steal it. Jimmy lent it to me. Uh, Jimmy, you loaned it to him? Uh, I, I don't remember. Well, let's see it. Well, every fisherman needs his bait, doesn't he? Yeah, but that's my bait. You're lucky. It's in good condition. Look, this is not bait. I don't want you using it around school. You're giving this place a bad name, and you're giving stamp collecting a bad name. Me? Yeah, you. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sid. Hi. What you got there? <laughs> yeah, what do you got there, Sid? Oh, uh, it's a secret. It's an album, and I got it from a sweet little old widow, and I haven't even looked at it yet. Give you 50, sight unseen. Are you kidding? I paid 25 bucks for this. I'm giving you double your value for something you haven't seen and I haven't seen. Yeah, but if we look into it, it might be worth a thousand dollars. Look into it. Hey guys, junk what poop? about me? Get out of here, you little chiseler. Go on. Hey, hey, beat it, kid. No, no, it's very important. With all these stamps in here, you'll probably you know make a man. in there? I, guys, I know what's in here. Don't guys, I got a feeling for what it. What about this? So? Shabby blue nose. Look again, Mr. Expert. I see this. I suppose you know the man on the mast when you see it. Don't you? Of course I do. Are you trying to tell me that's what this is? Yeah. 
Take a look at this. Yeah. You can have it hmm. for 300 bucks. Tommy. Hi, gang. Hi, hi. Hi, Tommy. Tina, get my glasses off. Why? Because I don't want you touching my things. Hey, Mom, look what I got. I've got spaghetti, hot dogs. Joe Louis, cereal. Where did you get the money, Tommy? Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. Now you're not in trouble again, are you, Tom? No. I always told you stamps was a good business, didn't I? Ralph, where are you? Hey, Ralph. Dinner's ready, kids. OK, Mom. Tell Dad before he finds out for himself. I can't. He'll, he'll kill him, kill me. I know it. Then get it back from Tommy. Snitch it. And get smoke bombed? Hey, listen to this. Why can't we go down to the stamp shop and buy another blue nose and put it in Dad's album before he even realizes that it's gone? Look, I've got $30 saved up. Is that enough? Thirty dollars? Hey, yeah, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. Okay, thank you. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay, I love you, Nancy. Thank okay, you. okay. I'll go and have supper with mom and dad, and I'll tell them that you're at Albert's, and I'll meet at the stamp shop when it gets dark. Okay? Nancy, okay. hurry up. Come in. First. Come on, don't be such a chicken. You can have anyone on this page for 30 bucks. But, but it's, it's... No buts. Another word and they go up to 60. Normally they're 60. Just choose when it looks like Dad's and he'll never know the difference. It's kind of hard finding one exactly the same. And then on this, this page. What about that one? That's it. That's the very same stamp. What do you mean it's the same? I want that that one. Oh, no. It's not like that, that one. Not that one. That's a variety. That's the man on the mast variety. Yeah, that one's $600, and that's cheap for the man on the mast. That is cheap. But that's my dad's stamp. Your dad's, my is dad's. it? Is his name marked on it? My brother doesn't lie. Hold it. Hold it. Look. You get your dad down here. If he can prove it's his. Oh, sure. Bring my dad down here. Stop. Real smooth. Really Stop. brilliant, Stop. you guys. Okay. Stop it. Yeah. Stop, Stop it. it. I hate this place, and so is my dad. Ralph, come back. Oh, I know where you got that stem from. I know. Don't worry. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, mm. Do me a favor. Stop crying. Listen, I'm going to do something really good for you. OK? Mm -hmm. You promise to stop crying? Mm -hmm. Jim, give me that album we got yesterday, please. Oh, no, Phil. Yeah, I want the album. But we haven't even Look, opened the it. the little girl's unhappy. Give me the album. Uh, but... Thank you. Well, this we got yesterday could be treasures. It's all yours. Thanks. Okay. 
God, Ralph. I... Oh, just don't move. <sighs> Ugh, that looks terrible. So, did you get the money back? Ah, uh, of course not. Oh, I went into his ah, and he pushed me down the stairs. Ah, oh, so those monsters. Well, you were very brave to go there. I wasn't brave. Anyway, I think you were. So there. Oh, hey, I got something from the stamp shop. I forgot to tell you, just a sec. What is it? It's an old stamp album. It's completely worthless. What do you mean? Aw, oh, Nancy, don't you even realize? I will never get the blue nose back. What are you doing? Ralph, stop it! I said stop it! What did you do that for? That was mine. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. My beautiful album. I'm really, really sorry, Nance. What's this? Hey, what is it? Come on, Nance, what is it? I don't know. February 12th, 1928. Wow, that's a long time ago. Dear reader, I hope you're a friend and not one of them. The thieves, I mean. Yes. Somebody is definitely trying to steal my stamps. My 12 penny Victoria, for instance. Whoa! And my 1897 Jubilee. Is that good? Dad, man, he could get everything. He, he could give everything for that. So, I have decided to hide my treasures just in case. Anyone who wants to find them will have to suffer great danger. Charles Merriweather, 11 years old. Oh, where, where do you hide them? Oh, P.S. I hid them on the other side of the world. On the 
other side of the world? That doesn't make sense. Other side of the world. We need Alfred, the mighty mega brain. Woohoo. I had to stop you from, from going into the house. You found something amazing. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. So, what do we do? Firstly, you must go back to the shop. Why me? They gave it to you, not Ralph. Secondly, you must try and find out where they got it from. Hey, Albert! Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Charlie Chaplin! Hello, Albert. Hello. Hi, Mom. Did you sleep here? Yes, I did. In the clubhouse. That's nice. Ralph? Don't forget to pack for the hike. What hike? With Uncle Ben. You're missing school. How could you forget that? <gasps> I'm supposed to go hiking with with my uncle. Mm. Wonder where the other side of the world would be. Australia. Here, take a trip to Australia. <laughs> Here, take a <laughs> take a trip to China. Ying yo cha ya so ha ya. What? Maybe Charles traveled like we're doing. What do you mean? I mean, in his imagination. It's a world album, and we found the paper in the front cover. Hey, so the other side of the world would be the other side of the stamp book. I gotta hand it to you, Ralph. I'm impressed. All right, we solved it. So where is it? Holy shamoli. Nancy took it to the stamp shop to find out where they got it. Oh, quick, go in the shop. Tell them what? Tell them to tell her to tell them nothing. What? Tell them to tell her to tell them nothing. You finally arrived. Yes, I, I wanted to know Hold about... It. Your brother phoned and told us to tell you to tell us nothing. Oh. Well, what is it you're not supposed to tell us? Uh, oh, um, well, uh... Oh, um, I, I just came here to plead with you for the blue nose back. Please? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. We couldn't if we wanted to. It's sold. Ah! Nancy! Nancy, come here! We found the solution! Quick! Ralph, can I see you in the den, please? Uh, just a second, Dad. No, immediately. There was a packet here with a blue nose in it. Are you responsible, Ralph? Yes, Dad. You know what we said about trust? Yes, Dad. I can't believe you did this. You know what that stamp was? I know now. It was the man on the mast. Where's the stamp now? I don't know. You are not allowed in this room again, is that clear? You take your collection and you go to your room. I want everything out of here.
dear finder, you are very clever. But when I said the other side of the world, I meant the other side of the world. I hid my best stamps in a book just like this one at the Sydney Stamp and Coin Shop, 10 Evan Street, Sydney, Australia. But how, how can he hide, hide his stamps on the other side of the world at 11 years old? Here. How did I get to the other side of the world? Ah, that's my secret. Why am I telling you my, my secret? Because may, maybe I never returned from his stamps. Maybe I'm dead. Poor Charles. Here is my secret. Say the magic, and you can shrink until you're so tiny that you can ride on a stamp anywhere in the world. Wow, that sounds quite dangerous. What was that? Someone's out there. Maybe it was Charles's ghost. You will be smaller than an ant. You will lie in the street under the crushing feet of strangers. Your friends will try to help, but you will be repulsive to the knowing hand. What does that mean? Ugh, who knows? I don't know, but I'm, but I'm gonna try it. I'm going to Australia on a stamp. I'm going to get Charles's treasures. Hey, Cass, I think they're onto something real big. I need your back for a minute. Turn around. Ten Evans Street, Australia. Get your face back, Australia. Ah. What's that for, Tommy? Never mind. All we need is the riddle. Come on, let's get out of here. <sighs> so we have, so we have the address for Australia. Hey, look, it's Connie. Hey, Connie. Hey, man. Now, what were you saying? Look, we have the address in, in Australia, and we have the passenger stamp. Let's check the rules. Passenger stamp must have enough room for the actual passenger in the picture. See, it does. I'll be riding behind the Mountie on the horse. Now, you must remain on the letter until you arrive at the correct address. Okay, then you will reappear your same size, we hope. But what about Mom and Dad? They'll be worried sick and you'll be gone for ages. Yeah, but they will be thinking that I've gone hi hiking with Uncle Ben. I'm still worried. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, here we are, stamp travelers. <laughs> Aha! Found you, you lad. It's Tommy! Tommy! Tommy!
I'm ready for the world to tramp. And I have no fear at all, at all. No, I have no fear at all. Take the envelope now. And drop it. Go, Ralph, go. I can't. You can do it, Ralph. There, Shorty, want some help? No. Hey, what's that you got there? Where's that man come from? Oh no, no, Gloria. Hey, 
Hey, you're young to be writing to Australia, aren't you? Gloria, come this on. Your letter? Late for the dent. No, I found it on the ground and I have to mail it. Oh, you found it? Mm-hmm. Oh, then, um, I'm not sure we should mail it at all. I'll take care of it for you. What do you think? I have to mail it. I'll take care of it. I have to mail it. I found it. I found it on the ground and I have to mail it. I'll mail it for ya. <laughs> oh, Gloria, what are you doing? Nice. So sorry, sir. Yeah. She often gets this way when we're going to the dentist. Nice kid. Gloria, why did you do that? But he's a nasty man, Mummy. Hey, sir! Stop! Wait a minute! That's our letter! Hey, stop! Let's hope there's a check or money order in here. Wouldn't that be my lucky day? Dear Stamp Shop, I've come in person for something you've been minding a long, long time. for me. Just like you to throw away something your mother slaved over. Conversation. Hey, looks like someone's enjoying your sardines. Oh, God, I hate that. Hey, sir, he's got some more of those. Get away from me. Got any more of those, Stay kid? away from me. Stay away from me. Reminds you of your father, doesn't he? you ever, ever touch me! Tommy! Uh. Nancy! Wait! I said, leave me alone. Come on, what's wrong? I'm sad, that's what's wrong. But what made you so angry just then? That wino, that bum, I hate him. But why? Because that's my dad. That's your dad, your real dad? No, but that's what he's like. Hmm, I could use another one of those sardine sandwiches. Hmm, they're good. Hey, what's this? An old Mountie stamp. Oh, that's so sad. 
I guess you still miss him, huh? Just wish he'd come home. He shouldn't have left us like that. I'm sorry. No, please go, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, just leave me alone. Well, okay. Keep going, postcard. <coughs> Look, I found this for you. I don't care what you found. Look, I don't I'll want it. Just put it there. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Bye. This, Who is please. He? So Ralph's riding on a staff, oh, eh? I'm impressed. Tommy? Yeah. And since he's been so brave, I've decided to send him on his way. Isn't that great? He's gonna mail him. Mail him? Where is he? Uh, he's somewhere safe, taking a little bath. In fact, my dog's just saying hello to him. Just a sec. Oh. Hey, Popsy, come back here with that. You naughty boy. You almost swallowed Ralph. Sorry about that. Your brother's fine. Just a little licked. Now, I just hope I get that address right. Oh, wow! Nailed at last! Australia? I'm supposed to be in a shop, but it looks like a house. scared you pretty hard getting off the stamp. Terribly cramped. Hi. My name's Ralph. Funny looking stamps. Stamp shop. 
This is Australia, right? Australia? China? 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 Uh, oh, no. Oh. No, don't China? be don't you go. China. China. Hangzhou. Look, uh, I need... China. I need to get to Australia. Look, you've got to tell me get on a stamp. Can you meet him here? Hangzhou. China. Zhongguo. Hangzhou. Look, you've got to help me get back oh, on oh. the stamp. I have to go to Australia. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, this card's from Nancy. Um, huh? Nancy is my sister. Huh? Nancy, um. my sister. Uh, oh, Ralph. Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm Ralph. I'm oh. Ralph. Oh, who is the person? I'll you. English, hey, English, yeah. English. Where are you? Ah, where should I go? English, English. Chento. Well, I'm pleased to me meet you, Chento. <laughs> you know what I really don't understand? It's how you can read Nancy's postcards, but you can't speak any English. That's weird. Oh, it's English. English. Hi, um, 
My uh, name is Ralph, and I come from Canada. Hello, Ralph. <laughs> Mayling. Hello, Ralph. I already know all about you. You do? Yes, because I translate all the postcards your sister sends to Tento. Oh. Oh, but I have got a question. Why are you in China? Because all of us were not expecting you. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting to come to China either. It's a long story. <laughs> it all started off with Tommy Tricker. <laughs> Tommy Tricker. Check it. <laughs> Dear Nancy, well, I'm human again, but I'm in the wrong country. I'm in China. Anyhow, I hope to get back on a stamp by tomorrow, and I should arrive in Australia by Friday. P.S. Don't worry. Ralph. Okay, your sister won't be worried about you now. Thanks, my Miling. I'll just post it. Post it. Okay. And here is the letter. You will travel down. Are you ready to drop? No, not here. Uh-huh. Why? But here is the mailbox. Here it is. No, but there's too many feet. You should have seen what happened to me in Canada. I was picked up. I was scrunched up. I got sardine oil on me. It was terrible. Oh, don't worry. Chinese newspaper usually has got very, very good eyes. So they will pick up you very quickly. But I might get collected. Oh, I think you have lost your courage. No, see, there's collectors right there. Look at their albums. Ah. I will end up in one of those. Oh, sorry. What's he is saying? Mm, he says that he has got a very good idea. The dragon on lake may pick up you. Dragon? Uh -huh. Dragon. Maybe you're afraid of dragon too? What are you doing? Come on, Chen. Come back. Chen, what are you doing? 
。袖上有龙，让拉尔夫趁龙回去吧。Jen, come on, Jen, you're gonna kill yourself. Come on, Jen. 龙啊，飞吧。Jen， 带着拉尔夫，飞吧。带着拉尔飞到澳大利亚去吧。Jen， Jen， Jen， where are you？ Jen， Oh God， Jen， where are you？ Jen， 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 Jen。For us, so let's hurry, okay? Quick, Ralph. Dear Nancy, last night I jumped into a lake full of dragons. No, really. I just passed some test of courage. I didn't even know I was passing. These Chinese kids have some strange ideas. You see, there is a dragon. How long is it? Oh, it's very big. Yes, let's see it. You see, first, this dragon will pick your leg up. Then, we pull the string. The leg will drop in the mailbox. Isn't that clever? Yeah, but uh, where is the mail mailbox? Mailbox? Oh, don't worry, Ralph. It's coming soon. But I think this isn't the right place. I think we'd better put it on this beer, so just like this. This is bad. Is it nice? Yeah. At last, I'll give you a surprise. Shut your eyes. Look. Oof. These Mexico stamps will help you a lot on your journey. Thanks a lot. They're really beautiful. Remember, now you have to go back and jump onto the stamp. Then you can go home. All right, we have to say goodbye to you. Goodbye? I wish you a happy journey. You mean you speak English? English? Yeah. <laughs> English. <laughs> Bye, Ralph. Bye. 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 Okay, 
分针放下来。分针在哪里？分针在哪里？分针在哪里？分针在哪？高高的天空里，看见蓝的云呀，看见蓝的天，还有我们大家的友谊。OK。Nancy, you can't imagine what a relief it was to fly in over Sydney Harbor. Well, I thought that my troubles were all over when I had arrived, but I was in for some terrible shocks. The stamp shop is changed into a bookshop. And my letter was delivered not to the owner, He's dead, but to his granddaughter, Cheryl, who's really grumpy. Robin! Can't stop now, love. Running away. Not much news today, Mrs. B. But uh, Cheryl got another letter for her dead grandfather from China. Okay, it's over there, but no tricks. Thanks. Not there, over there. Soon, I got my second shock. Cheryl told me that Charles Merriweather had arrived here yesterday to pick up his old album. So he arrived yesterday on a stamp, just like you. That's why I thought you were him. And you say his name is Charles Merriweather? That's what he said. 
And what does he look like? He had his hair sort of stuck down with oil and he had old-fashioned clothes. It looked really funny. And where did he go? Well, he's looking for my Uncle Mike because all Grandad's things, when he died, went to my Uncle Mike. Do you think you could take me to your Uncle Mike? No way. Uncle Mike's called Mad Mike. You know why? Because he's crazy and he's dangerous. Look, I have to get that album back. I've come halfway around the world for it. I don't know. <laughs> I persuaded Cheryl to take me to Mad Mike's. Maybe I'd lost the album, but at least I'd be able to meet the mysterious Charles Merriweather. What's it like being that small? Well, imagine that being a huge foot, and imagine it coming down on top of you, squashing you. <laughs> wow. Cheryl, why is your uncle mad? Well, he always had a dream to start a zoo. And he had all these animals collected, you know, really beautiful, but somebody came one night and poisoned them all. So ever since then, he's been mad. I thought that Australian girls are tough. Tough, but not stupid. Quick, I think you hear someone coming. Come on, hide. Come on. Hey, that's that Charles Merriweather. I don't think so. No! It's Tommy! Tommy Tricker! I'm ready to shrink! I'm ready to sink! I'm ready to the world to roll! I'm ready to get out of this stuff! Come on, stuff! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Mike, the crazy one. You're coming out here, little lock corner out. Don't you think you can steal from me, do you? Oh, 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 You'll be doing that on your own. Hey. Hey, Cheryl. Where are you going? Hi. This yours? Yeah. Uh, did you happen to know Mad Mike? Uh, yeah, but he's really dangerous. On, Look at you! Wait a second! Would you take me to his house? No. Shh. Hey? Uh, maybe after the game. Come on, it it'll be okay. That's 
It's Mad Mike's place up there. Oh, I'm going. Cheryl, you're such a chicken. I am not. OK, guys, wait here. on the road. Oh, yeah. It's yours, eh? Yeah, thanks. Good liar. You stole it from my daddy's things in the chest in the barn. No, I didn't. He, he, he was guarding it for me. I'm Charles Merriweather. You're not Charles Merriweather. You're a liar. See all these kangaroos? They're all liars, too. And you're going to stay with them until you learn to tell the truth. You're crazy. <laughs> hey, Mad Mike, how about some food? I'm starving, mate. Get these things off now. Why don't you tell your friends to come instead of sneaking around like thieves? Hey, Ralph, watch out! giving me this? Well, I want the prisoner, and I want the book. <laughs> and 
I got something else for you. Your niece, Cheryl. Hi, I'm Tom's daughter. Tom's daughter? Come here. Come by the fire. Uh, I'll stay here, if you don't mind. Hey, man, thanks. Come here. Me? The liar. Look in the fire. Who does this book belong to? Ralph. Will you tell any more lies? No. Let's go, dude. Okay, Tommy. What happened to your stuttering? It's all gone. Well, almost. Hey, it's my turn to be the hero, okay? Hey. Stamp. It's not. It's just a picture of Ralph. Somebody added it for a joke. It's no joke, Dad. Look. Okay. Hold on to your seats. Something truly amazing is about to happen. I hope. to you. My man on the mast. Where on earth did you get that, Henry? The stamps of Charles are coming. We, we have, have no fear at all, at all. We have no fear at all. The stamps of Charles are coming, are coming. Excuse me. You have my treasures at last. 
I'm sad, of course, because that means that I was never able to go back for them. I wonder what happened to me. Anyway, I'm glad it's you who has them, whoever you are. Charles Merriweather, February 16th, 1930. And to my father, I present Charles's famous album. Let me see this. Henry, come and have a look at this. Heavens to Betsy. The toilet in Victoria. Scampering squirrels. The 1897 Jubilee set complete. I've never seen anything like this. Excellent. How about those, Dad? Aren't they better than the Blue Nose? Indeed they are, my son. I think I can speak for your father, Ralph, when I say that you have done surprisingly well. See, Ralph, if it wasn't for me, you never would have discovered stamp travel. Actually, you're both very lucky to be back alive. Some stamp travelers don't make it back to flesh and blood. I have a boy, a stamp traveler. There we are. It's a blue nose, only he's riding in the bar. Interesting. Who is he? I call him the boy in the bar. But if you look at his satchel very carefully, you might be able to read his name. C-H-A-R-L-E-S. Charles! Charles is a prisoner on your stamp. Since 1930, I'm afraid. Poor Charles. Look, Nance, don't worry. We'll just, we'll just mail him to ourselves. And that way, we'll bring him back to his normal size. And where is this Charles person going to live if he comes back to life? With us, Mom. Can we bring him back, Mr. Bronson? Please, can we? Let's have coffee first. Please, Dad, it would be a great idea. idea. Dad, no, please. Can't. Hold it. No. Please. Dad, why Where is he going to go to school? He could stay with us and he could stay in Ralph's room. Yeah. I'm an only child. He could stay with me. Dad, please. He's going to stay with Ralph. Oh, please. <laughs> and where is he going to go to school? And he doesn't yeah. stay with us. Oh. Where's Tommy? Yeah. The Blue Nose is gone. What's a relapse? Tommy. It turned out he was just having a temporary relapse. He mailed the boy in the bow to, no, not himself, but to Mr. Bronson. So now Mr. Bronson has Charles in the spare room. They get along fabulously. <laughs>